Hey, what's up? It's Scott from Scott Bell Visuals, and today I'm gonna to tell you about this, a cheap alternative to the NAR box for backing up your photos and videos while out in the field. So a lot of you may know about the NAR box. It's a pretty cool little device. It's a watertight container that holds a 128 gigabyte hard drive, has SD slots, USB slots, and is basically being marketed as a weatherproof way to download your photos and videos while out in the field. And I thought this was a really great idea, but then I looked up how much it costs and it's about $350 Canadian. And this felt a little bit more than what I wanted to spend. And so I started thinking about ways that I could get around this and, and see if I could use some of the things I already had around as a substitute. And so I found this little guy and what this is, is a USB hub. Uh, it's from AGP Tech. It's an on the go adapter for Android phones. And so you plug this guy into your phone. It has an SD slot right in here. And then you can plug a external battery pack and an external hard drive into this and use your phone as a device to transfer the files from the SD card to your hard drive. Then either freeing up your SD cards for more shooting or just having that data backed up in multiple places while you're out away from your computer. So the NAR box is about $350. This little guy costs about 12 bucks. The other pieces that you're gonna to need to do this are a hard drive. This is a one terabyte, uh, I believe this is a Seagate hard drive, it's $70. Uh, you'll need some sort of external battery supply to power this hard drive. This one is from EC Tech. It was about uh, 40 bucks, so not, not too expensive. And I also use this to charge all of my batteries while out in the field. So it's, it's a great multi-purpose device. Um, you'll need smartphone of some sort to, to connect to the, the device. And then I really wanted a case to put everything in to keep everything watertight. And so I picked up this Pelican case and really conveniently it fits all of these things perfectly into a nice package. And so all this stuff together comes to a total of about 150 bucks. So at less than half the cost of the NAR box, uh, I thought I'd give this solution a go and uh, most recently I used it on my trip on Nootka Island and it was great. I had only a couple SD cards and I brought the hard drive and was able to download those cards throughout the whole week that I was away and everything was safely on my hard drive and I was able to edit when I got home. Okay, so I've got everything set up here. You'll see I have the external battery and this is running into the USB hub and the hub is then powering the external hard drive and the hard drive is running into the hub as well. I've got the SD card plugged into the hub and then all of that's connected to an Android phone through a on-the-go USB connection. And from there, I'm gonna open up the file manager on the phone and I'll look for the SD card, which in this case is showing up as the first USB storage. I'll look in there and you can see I've got DCIM, which is my, my photo folder and I've got a folder here full of images and video from, from the card. And so if I wanna copy this over now to the hard drive, I can just go into this and hold down a long, long press and it's gonna bring up a little menu and I can just choose copy. And then it's gonna say, where do I wanna copy this to? And I'll go to this other USB storage, which in this case is my external hard drive. And I have a little folder on here I call field backup. And so I'll go into field backup, hit the okay button. And it's going to start copying those files over. And once it's all set and copied over, the most important thing that you need to make sure you're doing is properly ejecting these, these cards and the hard drive. And so to do this, you basically just need to go into your phone's settings. Um, we'll click on that. And we go down into the device settings and you'll see storage and USB. If you click in there, all of your different USB devices show up. And so you can just eject. And then once everything is safely ejected, you're safe to turn everything off, unplug everything, and you can get back onto shooting with empty cards. And so I finished downloading everything, and I'm just gonna unplug all these devices. I've got my, my Pelican case here that fits all this stuff perfectly. Uh, I've put an extra little foam layer in here. It just helps hold everything a little bit tighter. Um, and I also keep a silica pack in there. First, I can store my little hard drive in here. I have it in the most secure location. Can put these cords in here. Put the phone inside. And this battery just fits in here perfectly. And then close that up. And there you go. 
I've got everything inside of a, a watertight case. Doesn't take up too much space in my backpack and holds all my gear perfectly. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate everybody that's following me along on this journey to becoming a filmmaker. If you found anything in this video useful, please share it with a friend, hit the like button, drop me a comment, and until the next video, I hope you have a good week, and I'll check you next time. Peace.